Hello again and welcome to another Activia IT training video. In this short video we're going to look at some quick ways to format cells in Microsoft Excel. The product ID, I've put 1234. We actually wanted to have 001234, so I'll change that, press enter. We can see Microsoft kindly knocks off the two zeros, leaves me with one, two, three, four. Because it's formatted as general number here, it's it's knocking that off. So we need to change that. Let's do control and one, which is a quick way to format cells. Set that to text format. And I'm going to press F2 to edit the cell. We could do the home key to move to the front of that data, to the left hand side of the data, 00, zero and enter. So that's the format we wanted, and it's text, it's left aligned. I'm going to drag that down to continue the sequence. So I've got a set of numbers with leading zeros in. The annoying green triangles here, if we see we get a little warning message that it's format as text, even though it looks like a number. I'm going to highlight all of those and go to ignore error on that drop down, because that's what we wanted. Unit price, I'm going to highlight these, and with a keyboard shortcut of Control shift 4 that goes to local currency on this machine, which is, in this case, pounds. That's a good shortcut. Control shift four. Units are okay, max quantity okay. The percentage of max, we can do a little calculation, which is equals units divided by max quantity. Take that down the column by double clicking the spot. All sorts of odd decimal places here. It needs to be a percentage anyway. They're all highlighted, so another shortcut coming up here is Control Shift 5. That will give you the percent value, and that's all sorted out nicely. Finally, the Dates are in here, but serial numbers here doesn't make much sense to anybody. So we'll select that range, and we can just do Control and the hash symbol, which is quite an unusual shortcut. But it's gone to a special date format there, which is quite nice. So lots of shortcuts we can use just to format the cells here. Don't forget Control A, A for all is select all if you then need to do any other formatting such as colours or changing the font across all of that data table. Okay, thank you and see you again soon.